yeah, this does kind of say it all. Here's a new project. And I am loving how it turned out. A couple versions of another new project. And I have made a lot of boxes this weekend. Including some new business, uh, also do some new business cards. And these uh, little small handouts that have all the contact info. I kind of like that simplified thing as well. And I'm going to have to re, I want to redo the QR code on the back of this. It's kind of fun. It works, but I'm going to add some other information like the YouTube page and maybe a couple other things. Because right now I just have the email coming up on that. So, yes, this is a bit of an experiment and boy, I hope that this idea is really coming together. I've used it successfully before, but not quite with this many pieces, I don't think. So I've made these little jig uh, arms, and I think I've got it dialed in here so that I use that I have as little waste as possible on the edge. I have a tendency to cut these things too close. So I think I'm running right on the bottom edge here, and I think I'm running right on the top edge there. So let's home it again and run a framing sequence, a square or rectangular framing sequence to see if I am on it. That is, it's kind of hard to tell. This, evidently this line, this arrow is supposed to be the burn spot. Like, that's directly down from where the laser is going. And, but I haven't, I think I've run into a couple of errors along those lines. So, I'm not sure that that's exactly right. I've tried this to double check it, but I, haven't, I don't think I've done too well. Uh, what was the other thing? I was going to say, oh, yes. I think I can demonstrate this here. All right, so I'm making a, a square for now, and I'm going to make it, uh, what color? I want to try to make this a standard. Uh, I should have thought about this earlier. Let's call it 23. It's a nice pink. It's my oldest daughter's birthday, and so let's make it 23. And I'm going to use it as... And let's see, it's on 100 power, no, 100 speed at 20 power. Let's do this. Let's make it at 10, I'm not actually going to make it 5 at 100. All right, so here's what I want to do with this. I want to use this as a border marker. I, I've seen on some of the other lasers that you can actually turn the laser on as a light to run across and make sure that you're on the, the surface. Uh, either, either my type of laser doesn't do that or I just haven't learned how to do it yet. So here's my little hack, I think. Let's take our square and I'm going to put it, it's kind of hard to see because it's a really light pink. I'm gonna put it like right on the outside edge of my cutting area right now I'm locked uh, on size so let me redo that so I mean just barely outside where I want to be cutting so that I can maybe leave a little mark and if I don't have the output on for the cut but just have can, can this even be seen? Yeah, okay. So you can see the markers here. There is there is this box. And what I'm doing is I've got it at 5 power at 100 speed. And I'm going to see if I can just get a very tiny line that will not interfere with any of the actual cuts to show that I am on the board right. Now, if I had the camera set up correctly and all that, I think all these problems would be resolved without me having to do anything. 
but I don't have that yet. So let's let's see if this will help. All right, let's home this again. And I have just the square selected. And so let's frame that. Uh, no, let's actually run that. 100 millimeters second speed and 5% power on 60 watts. Oh. Well, welcome to my Saturday morning of probably having to clean the uh, burner again. Great. Uh, let me come back a little bit later. All right, because the uh, cover needs to be closed in order for this to run with any kind of power on the laser, it's not going to be easy to see, but uh, and I'm not sure it's going to show up on this surface. Okay, let's let's take it to. 10% and see what that does. Alright, looks like I'm a little bit high. Oh, I've got some space over that side too. Alright, let's take a look. I was a little high here. I'm not sure you can see it. Uh, let's try to get down on that. Am I seeing the line or not? I'm not sure I am. All right, well, let's come down a touch. And... Maybe over a touch. And I'll home it. All right, so eh, after I move the light, it's it, you can see it. There is the line right there. And you can see the corner right there. That's a perfect spot on the bottom edge. This is still, I still got some space I could use. So I'm going to add another. And this kind of works because it brackets it from the top and the bottom. Let's try that. And maybe that three inch might be the right thing. Let's try one more. Yeah, I think this is going to be it. Okay, drop it into place here and slide it down okay so I'm going to remind myself I'm up one two three four the fifth bar with these with this setup yeah and that is the right spot to basically have no waste on the top and bottom edge okay now, this is just something I'm making for myself for the craft fair, a little storage box. So, it doesn't matter that this line is on here, but it's really nice to find this part out. I mean, it's nice for me. I hope that it was of at least some kind of interest or useful information for others. Time to burn. And I'm sure that... I, it'd probably be better if I was running like burn tests to check these materials and all that kind of stuff. I'm finding it more of a hit or miss thing. It's just almost maybe takes less time than that than running a whole burn chart. So right now I've got this on 45 millimeters a second at 90 power, 90% power, two, two passes. I'm trying not to just burn the thing, start a fire, but keep it going fairly quickly so that this can not take forever and then also do clean cuts so the question is should it be 
two passes or three with this three millimeter walnut plywood, but I think two is going to do it. Now let's check the timing. And that is five minutes, well, six minutes for this burn. So let's see how this does and if it cuts through completely. So this is actually going to be kind of a cool looking box if I uh, get this get this done. Let's let's try it. Going to home here. And run it. already seeing an issue. I'm going to stop this and start again. Okay, th that was very instructive. Here are these uh, little knockout tabs on two times through did not drop out. So this is pretty sturdy stuff evidently. So I'm going to do three passes. These will be, that'll be way too much since they've already started on these, but the rest of them I'll get to see if three passes knocks that out. Let's try again. Gonna home it. And three passes, same speed and power. Let's try it. And it could be that the just one pass would, would have knocked it out. And it'll take us a second. Yeah, they're they're dropping now. What would be interesting to see is if the ones that are cut for the first time drop out on just three passes. All right, I'll come back in a minute. Now, this, <laughs> as this would be, this would happen. I can't tell uh, immediately on this run, this pass, be, uh, or this area on the board because these tabs or these little uh, rectangles are sitting directly on top of a crossbar. So they're being, I think, held in place. Uh, so I'm gonna have to see, we've got two more, one more, line of these knockouts to do. So let's see what happens when it's not sitting on a bar. I'm not going to get excellent focus in this uh, smoke-filled box, but uh, let's see if we're through. Oh, oh, it could be that I'm on a bar again. I can't quite tell. And maybe three passes isn't quite enough. We will, I'll finish this up and then we'll, I'll check. Thanks for uh, watching along with me here. Fascinated by this. I'm so blessed to get to have this equipment and use it and try to learn with it and definitely have fun with it. And uh, hopefully maybe share, even if you're seeing, how can he be doing something that stupid? He doesn't mean that, yeah, even that, maybe that might help somebody. If nothing else, just to give them something to write about in the comments. You're welcome to do that at any time. All right, we're doing the outer edges of this connector piece. And here's something that I have learned that I think maybe is obvious, but it might be interesting for somebody to know. You can see a ton of smoke coming off of this. And what I've found is that's a sign that it hasn't cut all the way through. If it's cut all the way through consistently, it's not burning the wood anymore. And so you don't get, wouldn't be getting that much smoke. So I think I'm going to have to make it a four, uh, four pass. Uh, in this case, I'll just go back through and do one more pass when it's all the way done. But for future use, I'll set it up as a four pass uh, arrangement. You know, I could make it faster and make more passes. I I think this is a good mix. If this is just going to take maybe with an extra pass, maybe seven, maybe eight minutes to run, I think that's a, that's a decent, not too much time and, and not risking, you know, get, getting stuff out of place um, 
to uh, to run it at that speed. Uh, I'm just noticing something else. I wonder if anybody else saw this. This may be part of the problem. I did not reset the locus or the uh, the focus on the laser, so it's a little high. Maybe it would have gone through just fine if I got the uh, setting right. I'm still on uh, a piece of pallet wood height that I was doing last night. Yep, that's another mistake that it, it's important to be aware of as a uh, how can I be more efficient and not mess things up as much kind of uh, checklist point. I need to make sure that I have focused the laser to the correct height. This is almost done, so I will do that. I will reset the height and then do one more pass, and I have a feeling that's probably going to cut everything out. Let's see. I wonder if anybody else has any experience with this uh, Creality equipment. Let me get on the other side here. I'm not completely satisfied that this is... Well, I can't really do it from either side. It's going to have to do it. Um, I'm not sure how accurate this thing is in general. Notice that there's, a, there's some play here. And if I put this right down on top where it's, it's stuck, it's set in there, if I crank this, then when I take that out... It's actually going to drop down a little bit more, so I don't know if this is right or not, but what I've ended up doing is lifting it just a bit off of the top of the, the piece, the measuring bar, so that it's just on the edge of that when it's done. Um, oh boy, I hope I did not move that. Oh, I did move it. Oh, grief. Okay. Well, this cut may not go great now. Let's do one more. Did I manage to get it back in the right place? I think. Eh, maybe not. Maybe not quite. Maybe off by a hair. pretty good we'll see when it's done how have I complicated and possibly messed up this deal oh let me count the ways good grief yeah actually I kind of like that it came out pretty well you can actually see that even the email address which is really small I just had a little extra space and I didn't want to waste it so I just ran that and if the box works then I will set it uh, I'll probably tape it or some or glue it I mean to the outside but it looks very likely the box will not work because there's a little extra little extra gap I think it's going to be pretty doggone gappy all right well live and learn and buy more materials I guess is the uh, the idea here yeah, the, this is such a precision fit that it's so impressive, actually, every time I do one of these, that the precision fit is almost certainly not going to be the case here. And I missed my line by just a little bit. I wanted to cut off the top of this, and I missed that line just a touch. So anyway, I've, I've got, got a board that now I can use without having to have all this tiny little stuff there okay well let's uh i have a feeling i'm gonna be running another one of these which is okay that's part of the reason i got the stuff but let's see what the fit is like no it's not going to be good not at all uh okay let's call this the inside let me spread this out and do it another place. I don't always talk about having a lot of confidence necessarily, but I can honestly say that I have a great deal of confidence that I have so messed this one up that I just immediately started running another one. Yeah, I'm afraid that's the way it is. Okay, let's see if these pieces even go together. 
I'm a, I'm, what I'm concerned about is they're going to be way too loose, which is what it's feeling like already. And let's make that the inside. Yeah, very loose. That it doesn't mean that it couldn't be glued successfully. I guess it is going to fit. I thought maybe it was going to be off. And it is flush-ish, top to bottom. Okay. Well, let's try to put the base on then. See what that does. Which do I want to be the bottom? I think this. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's way too easy. It should not be that easy. Oh yeah, well. That is a little more difficult. Let's see. Oh, I'm on an angle. I'm not sure I'm getting a good camera shot here. Uh, there we go. Well, there's a bit of grab there. That's not terrible. Yeah. Two more. Okay. That's in. Last, not least. Kind of tough to know which... Usually there's a very good side of the uh, plywood and the other side is okay-ish. Or there's a, some little blem or something. And I can't, I'm not a positive which is which on this one. Okay. That's not what this tool is meant for, but what am I missing here? There it is. Well, that's actually still a fairly tight fit. Okay. Now, if this were the first box that I'd ever burned, it'd be like, oh, wow, that's really great. Yeah, unfortunately, this is like about the 10th that I've burned, and, or at least the 6th or 7th. And so messing that up was not, did not reflect glory on my skills. But it can be glued together successfully, I'm pretty sure, and that, that will be okay. Now, I, one of the things I was thinking about Well, you know, that could maybe work. All right. I'll make some more of these uh, business cards. And this could be the display box for them. Yeah. And maybe, uh, maybe glue that on the front or something. We'll see. All right. Well, there's so many things I need to work on, but I'm going to call this my project for the video for the week while I, hopefully I'm doing tons of other things uh, because as the sign says time is running short and not to put too fine a point on it I already started out pretty short the way it was hope you're having a great week thanks for watching please like and subscribe and very interested to see what this craft fair looks like next week and i look forward to sharing it with you i still have no not even one version one design of a christmas ornament that is one of the big things this week but i have been working on uh, another big project that i hope to at least have a prototype of for this weekend uh, to share with my buddy chandra and I want to take a look at that as I finish up, but the other thing I'm, I've got for a video this week is just showing some of the step-by-step -step process of uh, designing. Now, it's pretty easy when with a box because there's a, a website that you can just punch in the numbers and make a box, and uh, you cut it out, and it's pretty much ready to snap together. But I'm also doing some decorative stuff on them, and 
uh, get, trying to get the dimensions exactly right uh, for this thing that I'm making. So please take a look at this. Would be great to have any of your thoughts, comments. Please like and subscribe. But uh, mostly, just especially if you're interested in light burn at all, there are a couple little things that are working well for me. And either you know better and you could offer some suggestion about how I can improve, or it might be something possibly that could be a little bit of a help uh, to to you thinking through how to use the the system. <sighs> Thanks for watching. Okay, big secret project here is a little bit of a sneak preview. As if looking at it on the screen was somehow going to explain it all, but I rather would show it more completed, but take a look at this. It is, some of it is the tray that I showed, I think, in last week's video, but, and this is masking tape hinges at this point, but we're working on a watercolor artist Pushad. And no, I did not know what that was until two weeks ago or about a month ago either. And, but the idea here is a travel painting kit. And I'm working on a, at least a prototype to have to test out and see what kind of design changes and improvements need to be made. More on this, Lord willing, more on this next week and soon.